if I told you that the bust is coming sooner, bigger, harder, and so, so much pumpier than anyone ever thought possible. And yes, you're simply not bullish enough. Something absolutely massive is happening in the Bitcoin ecosystem. And we're going to absolutely dive into why this is so fundamentally big for Bitcoin over these next few months. And simply put, I'm going to explain to you in great detail why you might think you're bullish, right? Down to your core, deep down. But honestly, you're not even a fraction as bullish as you should be. Once you understand what the heck is actually happening. So if you love pumpies, dumpies, and late night rumpies, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and let's absolutely dive in to these Bitcoin charts. And more importantly, what exactly is happening behind the scenes? Looking at Bitcoin's daily chart, actually, we have over the last week bounced on top of this 100 day moving average right around the 39,000, uh, wicking all the way down to $38,000 level. And as we pointed out yesterday, with the, the MACD coming all the way down as close to zero as, or as close to, you know, the lowest we can, the lowest basically that we can actually going all the way back to the lows of August, 2023, as we switch momentum on this daily chart, as we break above the 21 and 50 day moving average, this is absolutely not big, not huge. This is absolutely ginormous for the price of Bitcoin. And now this is a make or break moment because yesterday we did have a daily candle close for the first time since getting a bearish 21 go below the 50 day moving average cross. We had a daily candle close above the 21 and 50 day moving average. And at this moment, that price is still above those two levels. Now, another daily close above the 21 and 50 day moving average, which basically Bitcoin needs to close above, um, above 42,900, but let's just round up to 43,000 to be even more bullish. If Bitcoin can get another daily close above 43,000, it'll be the first time that Bitcoin has actually done that, as we explained in yesterday's video, um, get a bearish 21 below cross below 50 day moving average cross, and then the very first attempt above it, get actual daily candle closes above both the 21 and 50 day. This will be the first time that Bitcoin has actually done that um, pretty much the entirety of 2023 and the first month of 2024. It's a very bullish momentum signal combined with the fact that the MACD is switching uh, bullish with, you know, uh, all the way from down here. It's not like the MACD is all the way up here and starting to switch momentum similar to like back in January. No, this actually has the potential to be a much more bullish longer term move for Bitcoin. So that's big. But now if we also look at Bitcoin here on the weekly chart, um, obviously we have weekly momentum indicators that are very strong. Um, massive, gigantic support around 30,000 with both the 20 or sorry, both the 50 and 200 week moving averages right there. Uh, massive accumulated VRVP volume also right at 30,000. It's a massive support level. However, we're not even talking about that level of support. We have the 21 week moving average all the way right here at 38,000 US dollar, which is also the next biggest level of accumulated volume on the VRVP, which is also right at 38,000 US dollars. So basically, as we pointed out, so far $38,000 has flipped and has been confirmed as a very big level of support after flipping it as resistance for the first time since all the way back in April of 2022. So this is a huge development in the constructive price of Bitcoin. Very big, very positive. But also right now, we what we're trying to do is flip 44,000. And that's really the big test. We really wanna cement 44,000 as support. Um, we've gone on this run over the past uh, two months since the beginning of December, 2023. If Bitcoin is able to hold support here, put in a new high, ideally above 50,000 US dollars in the next few weeks, and then ultimately make this 44 to $45,000 level, the pullback support level. Guys, I mean, that is that is bullish scenario number one. And it's also looking more likely considering a few things. And before we continue with Bitcoin, I actually wanna jump into those few things. So GBTC, 
uh, GBTC outflows are decelerating. This is where it starts to get interesting, Dylan DeClaire points out. Um, so we're looking at this chart, the daily changes, the net daily change, and you can see that um, basically the, the demand also for Bitcoin through these spot ETFs is increasing. If we look right here, um, Carlo Clarice on Twitter talking about obsessively tracking ETF inflows, but Bitcoin held by funds is actually still a very small amount compared to total supply. Inflows from the ETFs can still be overwhelmed by big whales, basically. This is why the price is not mechanically reacting to flow data so far. But the nine spot Bitcoin ETFs have already accumulated over 150,000 Bitcoin in less than a month. Huge numbers by any metric, just absolutely gigantic, right? It hasn't even been three full weeks. Rest assured, the ETF investment vehicle is going to ignite bull market like never before. I absolutely agree with this. There has never been a time when so much capital could come in and chop away at available supply in huge chunks. Something different different is happening right now. Wall Street is not prepared um, for over the last two years. My guess, uh, Bitcoin therapist says we hit higher highs relatively soon, approaching the halving as we start to see fails, face melting gains. Um, basically, my opinion on this too, and this is this is a huge thing that I think people are just discounting, is that we have these vehicles now to where people can invest in crypto, right? It's not a short-term thing, but we really look at it. Why is it so big long-term? Well, if you guys have been around in bull markets, especially as we transition from like a bearish environment to hitting new all-time highs and, and euphoria really starting to come in, early euphoria, euphoria in the sense of like we still have like six plus months left of a bull market euphoria um, where we can still expect massive gains, not top euphoria where, you know, we're basically done and then we start going down. We've never had this vehicle before. Now imagine one like... If you guys remember back the euphoria of like 2021, or even if you remember the euphoria of like late 2017, there was never a way, even though people talked about it on CNBC, money managers, investment uh, bankers, all these people talk about it, right? They never had like a real way to get in in a big way and get their clients in. What are they going to do? Are they going to say, hey, yeah, um, you know, this is my client. He wants Bitcoin. I'm just going to tell them to go buy some via like uh, Binance or, or Coinbase. No, they never did that and they never would do that. But now they have an actual thing, nine or 10, in fact, spot ETFs that they can directly or direct those people um, to get crypto from. We have never had that. And I'm just genuinely, sh I'm genuinely shaking at the thought of how big it will be in those moments of euphoria. Keep in mind, we are nowhere close to it yet. So in that sense, these these inflows, the spot, the spot ETFs, we haven't seen anything, literally less than 1% of the excitement we will see once we actually see this market start going. And when will we start to see this market start picking up? Around all-time highs, around $70,000 per Bitcoin. We're not there yet. You know, we're not super far off now. Bitcoin's over 40,000 US dollars. But as we get closer to those levels, imagine how much demand is going to start popping in around $70,000 per Bitcoin. Now imagine $100,000 per Bitcoin. That's actually a nice, pretty even number. It's massive. The market cap of Bitcoin itself would be well over a trillion dollars massively, right? Imagine, imagine the amount of interest that these, especially the largest asset manager on the planet, BlackRock, imagine the amount of effort in the amount of advertising, the amount of shilling, simply put, BlackRock, uh, Grayscale, all of these people are going to be putting into their institutional resources to get their, you know, their their um, investors interested for the first time in history. Um, it is simply, it is simply the biggest possible inflow you could ever imagine during a bull market, right? We 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 haven't even seen the beginning of it. When euphoria actually kicks in, it's going to be insane. It's going to be completely, completely insane. Um, so far today, BlackRock and Fidelity ETFs have a higher trading volume than GBTC. As we just said, you know, this is the very first time we're seeing this. Demand for these products is real and does not seem to be going away. In fact, that's always been the case. It was never going to be, you know, Bitcoin to $100,000 the day the ETFs get approved. That was never the case. It is a slow churn, a slow transition. Here we are almost three weeks into it, and we're still seeing the beginning of that transition. And every month that goes by, especially as we're less than three months from the halving, 
every month that goes by, this is going to get more bullish and more bullish and more bullish, okay? Here we have this news as well. The SEC likely to approve spot Ethereum ETFs in just a couple of months towards the end of May 2024. This is insane. As the SEC is currently, you know, going after Coinbase legally in court for listing coins such as Cardano, um, which are absolutely not securities, but that's what they're trying to allege. And it's very unlikely that the SEC will win. It's very likely the SEC will lose this lawsuit against Coinbase, just like it did with Ripple, just like it did with Grayscale. But the point is, you're telling me like a month after the Bitcoin halving, we potentially should expect Ethereum ETFs to be approved? Believe me, if the market continues on the trend that it's been for the past 13 months and continues pumping and people start FOMOing in, imagine the amount of money that will go into that ETF as well. And remember, BlackRock has a vested interest in pumping their product. What is their product? ETFs, crypto ETFs now for the first time in history. It's absolutely insane. Now, this is actually an interesting chart as well that TechDev posted and I wanted to revisit it because it is a chart that's uh, he posted back in the summer of 2023, but basically it doesn't, he, he makes the case that it doesn't look like it's ever been the Bitcoin having that has been the massive catalyst for Bitcoin's massive price increases. It's liquidity. And he basically says, you know, maybe Satoshi tried to line up that liquidity with the halvings, which would be very clever, he states. But here we have the, the DXY high yield spread right here, 10 year yield. Also at the exact same time of the MACD on the monthly chart, flipping into its like bull market momentum also which basically also is lined up though with very close to these bitcoin halvings now if we look at this basically we've been in this bullish momentum for a couple of months now and we can expect sometime towards the middle of 2024 um massive much higher prices than we currently see um as we go into 2025 um, and so that's what I just think is an interesting uh, chart that, you know, I, I personally do believe the halvings have, have a massive um, impact on Bitcoin supply, obviously, but also Bitcoin bull markets. But it's just a case of like, hey, maybe, yes, that's why. But also there's something also that happens to so far, at least, have been lined up perfectly with the halvings. Also, as we pointed out yesterday, Solana is in the middle of a bull flag breakout um, continuing. So it's interesting to watch this. Um, more importantly as well, though, Bitcoin itself, as I pointed out, getting above 44,000 is huge. It would actually put us kind of back on track with this year long, um, resistance turned support turned hopefully now resistance turned support, um, very big, um, Bitcoin itself on, even on the daily chart and weekly chart looking very good. Uh, I do honestly want to see a, a retest and getting above 44,000. This will be big. But if we can flip these shorter term moving average, 21 and 50 day moving averages into support, um, you know, that can only be bullish for Bitcoin. Now, the stock market has been doing really well. And so we're going to see if we get a bullish close for the stock market and how that impacts everything. The DXY, again, it looks to actually still be finding resistance exactly kind of right where we've had plotted on here for, for years, actually. Um, around the 103.5 level. Now, remember, if rate cuts start coming, it's not going to be good for the dollar um, if we start trying to uh, start to ease on this monetary policy instead of being so tight. Um, but again, ultimately, you know, we look back uh, with this golden cross for Bitcoin, it more just signifies the momentum we're going to be shifting into over the next three to six months, plus very bullish, I believe, and um, on the daily, again, we look at this daily chart for Bitcoin. Realistically, um, there is so much support below us that uh, honestly, 30K is the new 10K. If we can, you know, it would take a large amount to get Bitcoin down to 30K, at which point I think the support would be something like we've never seen before. Massive amounts of support. Um, you can kiss 20K, 10K. Are you kidding me? Come on. 30k is that new level like the doomsday level where if we get the biggest collapse bitcoin could get at this point 30k 
is that like level that Doomer should be looking at. Not 20K, not 10K. Come on. I mean, if you've lived, if you've had your head, if you've had your head not buried in the sand for the past 14 months, you would understand why that's the case. If you're completely delusional, then you're still thinking, oh, 10K, 10K, 10K. No, you had your chance at 10K. We couldn't get there. We got close, right? Around 15.5. Anything more than that is just pure greed. Come on, wake up, stop holding on to your completely wrong bias basically and sign up with femex below in the description or pinned comment it takes 30 seconds if you're interested in buying bitcoin altcoins trading without you further ado